Hi guys, this is Matthias coming at you here with my first video covering the Annihilator Trench or the Thompson. And I think the most important question that most people are asking themselves, is this weapon good? And is it worth unlocking and replacing your current favorite weapon for the Assault class with? Well, first and foremost, unlocking it, yes, it's definitely worth it. All you need to do is basically play the Assault class. The requirements is to get 100 kills with your primary, any primary of the Assault class, and get 25 kills with your secondary, yes, any secondary of the Assault class. So even if you're not purposely going for it, if you are playing the Assault class, you will eventually get this weapon. However, personally, I do not think this weapon comes close to any of the favorite weapons I have for this class. I would say that the Automaticos, the Helldrigel Factory, at least the MP18 Trench and Optical, possibly even the Experimental, are all better. Now don't get me wrong, you can still do good with this weapon, especially if you stay to close quarter combat. The first full round that I played with this was on Priest de Tahur, and I got 62 kills with it, getting most kills on that server. That round has been published on my secondary channel, by the way, if you want to see it. There's a link in the description. Now unfortunately, I find this weapon to be very limited. It is uh, definitely a close quarter hipfire weapon, similar in some degree to the MP18 trench or the Automatico trench, but just generally worse than both. One of the main reasons why it is worse is mainly because of the lower magazine size, but also because it handles a little bit worse as well. The handling, as you can see in this video, you can get used to quite quickly, but the fact is that sometimes in crazy and intense situations, where especially when you are also suppressed, the weapon handling, though it's not that hard to control in most situations, when you are under pressure, that extra little kick from the gun might actually make a bit of a difference. And especially important is this when you only have 20 bullets in the magazine. Now there's no denying that this weapon was very anticipated and quite hyped by the Battlefield community, at least a rather big portion of it. Now this makes perfect sense based on the historical significance that this specific weapon has. It is of course mostly associated with World War II, and if the next battlefield, which most people believe is going to be uh, taking place in World War II, then we all probably expect to see more of this weapon, even though it might handle a bit differently. So now when I was using this for the first time during the stream, I was almost exclusively hip firing with it, and a lot of people pointed out that they wanted me to try to see what it's like to use the iron sight. Partly because they want to see what it looks like, and also partly to see how good it was. <laughs> yeah, this game can look a bit brutal. Now, a lot of people that watch me play with weapons such as uh, the SMG-8 or the Parabellum, they react on how it seems like there is no recoil, or as if there is a lot less recoil on PC compared to the two console versions. That is not true. However, I am quite used to handling recoil from games that had a lot more kick in the weapons than Battlefield 1, so this is something that I have spent years on perfecting, and it comes rather natural now. However, if you do not have the same experience, and especially if you play on a different platform, then it might look very differently when you shoot with it. So keep that in mind. No, it's not hard to control this weapon if you are an experienced first-person shooter and you're used to handling recoil already. But the way the game mechanics in Battlefield 1 works is that if you just tap fire, then between the shots or between the taps, the game will automatically adjust the recoil for you. You just can't keep the same fire rate. It's just, this weapon, it's just too much reloading. See, both the spawns are here from the get-go now. That's very different. They changed that. So yeah, this update did have quite a few more changes. It added, I think, all in all, nine weapons or new weapon models. This uh, change to how the tank spawns are on Amion, for example, was another change. There's a new silenced sniper rifle. 
and the Sjögren shotgun now also comes with the slug. I'll show you a little bit of that in just a minute. Now for the most part, at least now in the beginning, I almost always reloaded after each kill. Not always, but for the most part. And for my playstyle, this is a big problem. If I have a good run, then it's very crucial that I get those uh, 5 or 6 kills in a very short period of time. This hopefully without reloading or with just one reload. With the Thompson, this is most likely not going to happen. So based on my playstyle and my experience, my first impression of this weapon tells me that I am not likely to use it all that much. Just like I said in the earlier part of the video, there are simply better options. Oh, there was another one! So now before I continue with the slug version of the Sjögren, let me just show you a couple of examples aiming down sight with the iron sight. Oh, a sentry killed. Notice how I was hip firing even though I was at relatively close range. Something that is very different if you use, for example, the MP18 optical. Oh, I didn't switch. Now with this weapon, you do not need to tap fire at the same ranges. It's just a lot easier to handle. Yeah, not long ago I made a video from playing on CTE and I had a lot of fun actually using this the Sjögren slug. As you can see I'm testing it here again just mainly because it is new but during this gameplay I wanted to focus more on the Annihilator because to me it was just a more interesting weapon release. Maybe I'll try this shotgun a little bit more in the future. So, is the Thompson or any of the other new weapons or weapon models for you, or are you more like me and you prefer the weapons that we already had? Whatever you think about this update, please share it with me and the other people in the comment section below the video. My name is Matthias and I want to thank you all for watching. Oh, one HP and he got me. Uh, you don't have enough ammo, that's the problem.
objective dark. Ah, oh, the reload. That's the thing, like the reload. I, 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 it wasn't shooting. What was that pose? It's for that type of gameplay. Oh, and then I get shot by it. You see, it's for that kind of gameplay. Enemy controls all objective. I kind of felt this. Men, enemy are owning us hard. <laughs> 